Good afternoon, everybody. I have been tagged. Now, this is only the second time I've ever been tagged, and I don't mind it at all. And I'm going to do it. There's one part I'm not going to do, and I'll get to that when we get to that. But I've been tagged by my buddy Stead Homer. Y'all watch Stead Homer's channel? If you don't, you need to. Very, very interesting guy. A fine carpenter. Has built a absolute beautiful barn. And he's getting close to being done with it. And uh, I've talked to him on the phone a few times. And we exchange messages back and forth. Great man. Uh, very good guy. Y'all need to watch his channel. Uh, I almost got to meet him last year, but circumstances came up to where when I was up that way I didn't get to, but there will be another time, not too long from now, and we'll get together. Okay, been, the tag is to ask a few questions here. Okay, question number one. Name three of the YouTubers that inspired me the most. All right, now this gets a little bit slippery here at the beginning because the first YouTube video I ever watched was uh, Dave Canterbury from Wilderness Outfitters. Now that was back not too long after I had, I think it was my second heart attack. And I was more or less housebound and I was watching all the survival shows on TV That's when he was on dual survival back then. And I hadn't had the computer too long my son brought it over and was trying to show me how to work it and I'd never heard of YouTube and somebody mentioned YouTube and I was looking around at it and I just typed in Dave's name and his channel Wilderness Outfitters came up and I became a fan right then I watched almost everything he had back then uh, and I got to thinking well I, you know, I can do this uh, a good friend of mine bought me a little camera, my backup camera I still have today. He bought me that, and that's when I started making videos. Now, ever since then, there's been some things that happened. I don't support Canterbury's channel anymore. I know a lot of y'all do, but I don't. But y'all know I am a United States Army veteran, as he is. Uh, I have absolutely no tolerance for anybody who fibs about their military service whether you admit it or you don't admit it and you finally did admit it so I just leave it right there but he was one of the first ones the first channel I watched on YouTube and that's why I learned what YouTube was now before all that happened he had mentioned um, another fellow back in that time was um, trying to grow his channel need a little bit of help and that guy's name was J No Zero so that's my second uh, inspiration now since that time uh, me and J No have become personal friends we talk on the phone a couple times a week uh, I've been to his house uh, twice and I'm going back just as soon as I can get there uh, a lot of y'all know J No a lot of y'all watch him. Very good guy. Very down to earth. And uh, what you see is what you get. He is who he is. And I really like that. Uh, somebody. What they are on YouTube is what they are when you go put your feet under their table. That's, that's the way they are. So that was my second inspiration. Let's see. The third, I'm going to say, because I saw... Now, when I watch a YouTube channel, especially somebody that I don't know, I look at the videos that they like. You know, they're liked videos. And he liked a video by a guy named BC Truck. And I said, so I watched that video. I don't remember which one it was now, but I watched that one. And he was fixing something. And I said, oh man, that's, this guy can fix anything. Started looking through his videos. Uh, Several months later, I had a question about something that I was working on. So I sent him a message, 
and we exchanged phone numbers, and since then we have become personal friends also. Now we talk on the phone every now and again, we text back and forth quite a bit, and I look forward to meeting him one day, maybe this fall, we've talked about it, I'm supposed to take a trip up up to Nebraska this year, as all know, and I'll be going fairly close to his place, so I may get to stop by if we even get to go. That's a whole other story we'll talk about later. But, uh, because we are in the midst of storm season, and we're watching storms, and we're doing this and doing that, and financing is not as good as it could be, if you know what I mean. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. If I ever get the chance to get over that way, though, I'm gonna, I've been invited to stop by and see. So the third one would be BC Truck. And I think he's just like Jay Mill. Most anybody that watches my channel, y'all watch him. And he is a, uh, he's a jack of all trades. He can do anything. Plus, he makes some pretty good knives too. Makes some nice looking stuff. <coughs> Pardon me. You won't hear that out of other knife makers. <laughs> anyway, that's that. Second question. Three things you were good at. Okay, the first one I'm going to say is, uh, I think, being a papa, being a grandpa. I'm pretty good at that. We've got four grandchildren. We've got a brand new one that's been with us for, I think, five weeks, six weeks now. Uh, that's one thing I think I'm good at. Uh, I'm a fair to midland fisherman. I think I'm good at fishing. Uh, in my area. <coughs> Pardon me. Now when I go somewhere else to fish and all that, I have to learn you know, how it's done there, but, but I'm a good fisherman. And I'm pretty good at shooting. Now I used to shoot a lot. Now I say shooting, I'm talking about rifle mainly rifle. Uh, now, my time in the military, I was not a sniper and all that kind of stuff. But I did get a chance to do a lot of shooting. And I have a couple of rifles and I think I'm good at it. Shotgun, I'm, I think I'm really good at shotgun. Pistol, eh, I'm okay with a pistol. <coughs> I have a couple. Excuse me, the more I talk, the more I call. Pretty good with a pistol. But I'm, I'm guarantee you if you get close enough and I need to use it in that type of situation, I'm real good at that. But, um, but that's that's the third thing I'm, I'm good at. Is shooting. Okay, things I am excited about. And I'm going to take that as things that I get excited about. Uh, mainly is my family. My wife, my kids, my grandkids, because they, they're all doing so well, and I'm very proud of them. Uh, another thing I get excited about is meeting fellow YouTubers. Now, up at the uh, Homestead Conference in Tennessee uh, this past year, I met a lot of YouTubers. I met all kind of nice people. I even met Stead Homer's best friend, Daryl. Daryl's a good guy, him and his lovely wife. I really enjoyed meeting them. Uh, and I met so many others that I can't name everybody. Um, last Thanksgiving, right at, right at Thanksgiving, we went up, first time we visited J No Zero, I met a lot of YouTubers up there. And I even met one that I liked, he, he was a Marine that I liked, old Big Bear. Marines and Army guys, you know, we got this thing going, but, uh, but uh, that excites me, is meeting YouTubers and people that, you know, I see on camera all the time and I get to meet them and it's a great honor for me. Uh, let's see, the third thing I, I'm excited about is, uh, I don't know, I guess you would say just living life. Just uh, living life. It's 
most of y'all know I am retired. I work here in my shop, I work in the yard, I work in the garden. Uh, things like that excites me, just being able to do what I've wanted, what I've wanted to do for years and years and years. Because I worked payroll jobs for a long time, plus my military time. And y'all know how that is, sometimes it's, you know, I work 12, 16 hour days, a lot. You know, seven days a week sometimes, just to make ends meet. <coughs> Pardon me. So being able to do what I want to do, uh, for the most part, that excites me a lot. All right. Next question is three things I do to relax. What's that? <laughs> All right. Number one is fish. When I'm on the river or on the bay or wherever I'm at fishing, I'm relaxed. Uh, I'll fish real, real, real hard for a little while until I catch what I want because I fish for meat. I'm not a sport fisherman too much. But once I catch what I go after, you know, I mean, cause a lot of times I go, I want to catch supper. I'll catch supper and then everything's chilled out, everything's relaxed. If I catch any more, I do. If I don't, I don't. That's fine. That's relaxing to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, another thing I do to relax, believe it or not, is making my knives. That really relaxes me because I can work at my own pace. I'm not in a hurry. I'm not normally not under pressure. That relaxes me. <coughs> no, don't. And uh, the last thing I like to do to relax, I like to spend time with my wife. Now, depending on, let's see, let me not even go there. <laughs> Most of the time, I can sit and talk to her and, and be relaxed. <laughs> I'm fixing to get in big trouble here, so I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. I like to sit and talk to her. So we don't get a chance to talk, just me and her, very much. Because even though all our kids are grown, we still have two at home. We have to look after, and at any time, morning, noon, or night, the door's gonna fly open, and here comes the granddaddy, because they live very close to us, and that's fine. But uh, when I get a chance, just me and her to sit and talk, or me and her to go out and have breakfast or something, which we try to do almost every Sunday morning, we try to do that. That is, um, that's relaxing. Now, the next question, tag five YouTubers. Okay, that's the part I'm not going to do. The last time I tagged somebody, I got a, a very negative reaction from the person I tagged. And it really, really threw me. Because there was uh, some really, really negative things said about the person that tagged me to tag him and what I did coming from I'm not calling names and don't ask me because I'm not going to tell you <coughs> pardon me but I got a real negative reaction to tagging somebody tagging him and um, it got so bad that I, I took the video down I, I think I've only taken down two videos or maybe three and the whole time I've been doing this over two years, three years, whatever it's been. But I got a really, really bad reaction to tagging somebody. And like I said, there were some things said that I just am standing with my mouth open. You know, well, I don't believe he said that. You know, I mean, as we're taught not to pass judgment on to other people, that's what I always thought. But anyway, that's why I'm not going to tag anybody. I don't want to make anybody mad. I don't want to put anybody on the spot. I mean, stay at home or tag me, and that's fine. I enjoy this kind of stuff. So if y'all want to tag me and stuff, tag me. And if it's something I'm not comfortable with, I'll tell you. <coughs> Pardon me. But what I will do, I'm going to challenge five 
of my YouTube friends, five of my favorites, which I've got all kinds of favorites. I mean, I, I love anybody that sits down in front of a camera and makes a YouTube. For the most part, you know, my hat's off to you. Because a lot of us, um, not so much me, but a lot of people, we take so much criticism for doing a video. And the trolls and all this and that and the other. So I want to challenge five of y'all to respond to this. Uh, it can be five, it can be ten, it can be as many of y'all that want to. But anyway, I ran longer doing this than I wanted to. But I did enjoy doing it. And uh, Stead Homer, thank you very much for tagging me. And, <coughs> pardon me, I should have had my water sitting right. I ain't got my water with me, but uh, let me go get a drink of water, and I'm way behind on watching everybody's YouTube, so I'll get to that just as soon as I possibly can. Uh, I've been on the roof all morning, I was on the shop roof for a couple hours, I think I got the leak fixed, I think I had a leak on the back porch at the house. I got that taken care of, and I'm going to go in and rest, and then I'm going to come back out tonight and start the gear prep for storms and all that kind of stuff I talked about before I'm going to do that tonight. <coughs> so, thank you all for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you all for staying with me while I ramble, and because uh, I'm real good at rambling too. <laughs> I should have put that on, on one of the questions. Uh, but all right, thank y'all. I will see you later. God bless you. Have a good day.